Hi everyone, this lesson is going to focus on comparing reducing balance and flat rate interest loans. Hopefully by now you're very um, good with reducing balance loans. Um, we've done three lessons of that. We're going to compare reducing balance to flat rate. Okay, um, so let's have a look. Now if you're doing flat rate or simple interest loans, the amount of interest is equivalent to the simple interest formula. Okay, so you use the same formula as you had for simple interest to calculate um, flat rate or simple interest loans. Easy. Um, just to remind you that the V0 is your principal, your R is your rate per period, and the N is the number of times compound, um, sorry, number of periods. So it's very similar to the I equals PRT over 100 formula, which is using different notations. Now over here, we cannot calculate simple interest using the finance solver. So I put this here to remind us that when we're doing a comparison between reducing balance and flat rate, our flat rate is going to be determined by this. And our reducing balance, we use our finance solver and our cast calculator for it. Okay, so reducing balance as you always have. So let's go into the first example. So this will be on page two. Now, I'm sorry, my printer is printing funny, so it's a little bit blurry here. But hopefully you can still see what I'm trying to do. So it says here a loan of $12,000. So once again, we're highlighting important information. Is to be taken out over five years at 12% per annum. We're going to find the monthly repayment and the total amount of interest paid if the money is borrowed on flat rate and if the money is borrowed on a reducing balance loan. So to do that, we're actually doing a comparison between the two. I'm going to split my page into half. And on one side, I'm going to do flat rate. And on the other side, I'm going to do um, reducing balance. Okay, so what we need to find for both of these conditions is the monthly repayment. So how much do we have to pay each month and the total amount of interest to be paid? So let's, uh, for flat rate loan, we're going to use our simple interest formula. I equals V zero R N over a hundred. Now let's find, um, let's put in all the information that we have. So our V zero, our initial value is $12,000. Our rate is 12% per annum, and our N is five years. Now this is good because this is per annum, okay, so it's yearly, and this is also a yearly figure. As long as R and N are in the same kind of units, um, then we can just pop it all into the formula. So in it goes, I equals 12,000. Obviously, you'd be using your cast to calculate this times 12 times 5 divided by 100. The interest um, on a flat rate loan, let me just grab the answer, is $7,200. So that's the um, amount of interest that's to be paid. So <laughs> I basically answered question number two, uh, B before I answered A. So interest or B. This is the total amount of interest play. It's interest that's charged directly from the principal, which is 12% of the principal over five years. Cool. Um, all right. So the monthly repayment. So when you're on a flat rate loan and you're paying this loan off, what you need to do is you need to pay a portion of the principal that you owe and also a portion of the interest that you owe um, that is to be charged as well. So how do we do this? Well, it's really easy. Remember, we're paying a bit of the 12000 and also a bit of the $7,200. So how much do we have to pay? Well, it's paid over five years. So basically, if you add them together, okay, um, Oh, and we have to find out the monthly repayment. So five years, and we're paying 12 times a year. We're doing, we're going to pay this off, this amount, over 60 payments. So all you need to do is add them together and then divide it by 60, which should give you 
$1,200 divided by 60 because we're doing this part first. So don't just enter this into the calculator when you put the bracket around it because we want the calculator to calculate that, that first. And then it should it be equivalent to $320 per month. So that's A done. So under this condition, flat rate loan, um, we're going to pay a total of $7,200 interest. And each month, every month for five years, we're going to be paying back um, $300. Oops, sorry, guys, $320 per month. I just stopped my camera up. Okay. There we go. Now, um, for reducing balance, hopefully you should be the, um, you should get the hang of this by now. Um, we want to find the monthly repayment. So we're going to obviously want to hit enter here. And we fill in the rest. So N is five years multiplied by, if it's monthly, then it's going to be 60. Interest is 12%. Present value, $12,000. We set the future value to zero. And payments per year is going to be 12 because it's monthly. We hit enter and we get an answer um, at PMT or payments at $266.93, which is going to be your monthly repayment. So that's A. That's how much we have to pay for every month for um, five years. The total amount of interest paid, remember this rings a bell, total amount of interest will be your total interest formula, which is that one there. So without further ado, let's just use that formula to calculate the second part of the question. Okay. N is 60. We are making 60 repayments of $266.93. And then we're going to subtract it. Um, we're going to subtract 12,000 away from it because that's the initial value. And we should get um, the amount of interest would be $4,115 and, oops, sorry guys, $4,115.80. Okay. So as you can see here, it seems that using the reducing balance um, loan, it's kind of better in terms of the amount of interest that you pay as opposed to flat rate. So, um, yeah. And also here we're paying 320 per month for um, every month for five years. Here we're only paying 266 per month um, for five years as well. So there you go. That's um, the first example on page two.